guys, it's Vicki. Hope you're doing well. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I am a part-time clothing reseller on Poshmark and eBay, and I primarily sell on Poshmark. So today's video is part of a series that I do every single Friday where I cover brands that resell on Poshmark. And not only do we talk about a certain brand, but we look at what people are searching on Google for that brand in the last 30 days. So I use Google Keyword Planner and I basically do keyword research, right? I look at the search volume for certain terms people are typing into their search bars. So say for example, somebody's looking for a Madewell button down denim dress, or maybe they put a style name in. It's gonna show us how many times people search for these things. So I think it's extremely helpful for us as resellers. Um, it kind of gives you an idea of the trends and what's currently being looked for. So whenever you're outsourcing, you might see something that is being heavily searched for in the last 30 days. So you know you can grab that and it's probably gonna sell pretty quickly and sometimes for a good amount of money. So today's brand we are gonna be looking at is Anthropology, and I am afraid because Anthropology is one of those big umbrella brands that has tons of sub labels beneath it um, or partners as they call it. And we'll get a little bit into that whenever I get on my computer. So we're gonna change up things here in a second. I'm gonna to go to my computer and I will continue the video there. But every Friday I ask you guys to comment a brand you want me to research down below as well as your Poshmark closet name so I can give you a shout out. And this week I picked a comment who wanted me to talk about anthropology. So I will share her comment with you in a minute as well as her Poshmark closet. And I'm gonna go ahead and head over to my computer. All right, so I'm at my computer and we're gonna look at the person that TubeBuddy chose as the comment winner and that was Miss Georgia Fain. And she said, Anthropology Brands, please. My Poshmark Closet at Bellatoria. That's a pretty name. That kind of reminds me of like Twilight, like Bella and then Victoria. And my name is Victoria too, so. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go check her closet out real quick. Uh, so Gia, that's a pretty name. Bellatoria at B-E-L-L-A-T-O-R-I-A -L -L -A on Poshmark. Go check her closet out, give her a follow, some shares. Uh, so she's from Florida. Not far away I'm gonna give you a couple shares real quick and just kind of scroll through your closet I looked at it earlier and I noticed she has a lot of bathing suits so if y'all are looking for some bathing suits she's got a good bit of them I have been trying to get bathing suits myself I have yet to photograph them so I need to get on the ball all right so yeah lots of bathing suits so yeah if you're looking for bathing suits she's got lots and lots of bathing suits right now so definitely check those out and yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, so we are gonna be looking at anthropology. We're gonna look at the most searched items in the last 30 days according to Google data that Google has compiled and put into their free keyword planner. So they have a keyword planner. Um, I will link those down below, but I also did a video showing you exactly what to do and explaining what all of those terms mean so you're kind of educated on what those things are. I will link that up here for you. But yeah, we're gonna talk a little bit about anthropology. So. Anthropology was created by the people who created Urban Outfitters and Free People. So in 1970, Free People was started. And then after that, Urban Outfitters was started. And then one of these men's wives was like, hey, I want to open up a store where we sell clothing for women my age. And so Anthropology started in 1992. It was opened in Pennsylvania and their target customer was women between the ages of 30 and 40 years old. So by 1998, they had their own website and uh, they had a mail order catalog and then they just started growing from there. Um, I personally don't shop at Anthropology because it is a tad bit expensive. If you've ever been in there, um, I have never been into one of their stores. I've looked at their website and I'm like, whew, Luckily, they do have an afterpay type thing where you can make payments, which is great because you get the item now and you just make payments for it. So if you were interested in something, you can definitely use that. But um, I personally like going to the Anthropology factory outlet type store. Um, it's basically where they send all of the returns, the damaged items and sample items that models use. Um, and I'm just going to start showing you some video from our trip this last week. Um, sorry, it's in vertical form, but I did it for a, but I did it for a short for this channel. But yeah, so Anthropology's little place is called Final Cut. It is in Martinez, Georgia, which is basically Augusta, Georgia. And it's a huge store. It has lots of furniture. Um, the furniture, in my opinion, is a little overpriced. Most of it is broken. 
and to be so overpriced for something that's broken is a little you know weird but it is what it is um yeah so lots of furniture they have rugs they have lots of home decor like curtains and sheets and comforters pillowcases um they have shoes they have clothing and boxes everywhere and their clothing prices are extremely reasonable like for example i bought a romper for myself that was anthropology brand and i paid 15 dollars for it when the tags on it said 198 dollars so that was kind of amazing to be able to pay and there was nothing wrong with it at all i think it was just a return so um the one thing they will do is cut the tags just so you can't return it to a store but it's an amazing place to go. I definitely say it is a must see if you are a reseller and you're in the Southeast, definitely make that a part of your trip because they've got a lot of great stuff. There's a lot of great stuff, like I said, boxes everywhere, but that's where I go. I, I can't afford to shop at the actual anthropology store. And a lot of people are like that. Um, so that's why Poshmark is a great place for people to find anthropology because it's relatively cheap. I don't know if you've noticed, but prices on Poshmark have gone down drastically for a lot of older anthropology pieces. Um, so, which reminds, so yeah, we're going to talk a little bit about sublabels because there are so many sublabels for anthropology right now. Um, and I think people don't understand how anthropology works. So anthropology is like an umbrella uh, brands. So they have lots of different sublabels or partners. Um, they partner with multiple brands and they will make items exclusively for anthropology to carry in their store. So that's why whenever you go to their brand list, which we'll go to right now. So if you're ever wondering if an item that you have is like currently being sold at anthropology, this is a list you can search through A through Z um, and they will show you the brands that they currently carry in their store. These brands that they carry in the store are currently very, very different than a lot of the information you'll find on the internet when it comes to sublabels for anthropology. Now, a lot of that information is old, very old information, because you have to remember anthropology has been in business since 1992. Uh, there is a website that they stopped putting information on it in 2016, but they talk about, they show a lot of labels that were popular between 2004 and 2009. And some of those labels are like uh, Girls from Savoy or Odile, stuff like that. Tabitha, Guinevere, these were popular labels in the early 2000s. So they're almost vintage to, you know, to be honest. When it comes to the older labels, honestly, I feel that they are, um, those sell for very little. I try to pass up on those unless it like it looks like a rare piece or if it's super super cheap but i'll show you my closet at the end of the video just so you can see all of the anthropology pieces that i have that are not moving that are not going anywhere um it's it's sad so as you can see we have lots of brands these are sub brands partners and this isn't just clothing these could be also home goods because anthropology does have a home outlet which i think is up north as well um, where they sell like furniture and home goods, home decor, all of that. So these are brands for home and clothing. Um, and yeah, so you can kind of go through and see like some of these brands only have like one item for that brand because these buyers within the company of anthropology, they go out and they source just like we do. They go to another company and be like, okay, we want to carry this item that you make and this item in our store, but that's it. We don't want anything else because it fits what anthropology is looking for. They have a certain style, like aesthetic they want to stick to. And so they only buy those pieces that fit that aesthetic. So yeah, that's the whole brand thing with anthropology. I'm going to list this uh, link in the description below if you want to go check that out. It'll definitely help you learn some sublabels that are carried in anthropology. Um, but yeah, you know, a lot of people just abuse using anthropology as the main brand for a lot of sublabels when those sublabels... You know, that sublabel may have had a, an item that sold for anthropology, you know, exclusively for them, but um, not all of their items were in anthropology, and that's where we go wrong. So anyway, let's move on. We are going to look real quick at the labels. So these are brands that anthropology loves. These are brands that are made exclusively or sold exclusively at anthropology. Now, Farm Rio does have their own website. Um, I don't know about the other ones. I didn't research that, but I know Farm Rio has their own website. So they have items that they sell. And then they also make some items for anthropology to sell. 
So these are the labels. These are what they currently look like. Um, this one is what the anthropology label looks like. And I believe this is just what Farm Rio's basic label looks like. But regardless, it kind of still looks the same. All right. So this is what the shirt label looks like. Um, Pilcro. And uh, most people call it Pilcro. I didn't know that. Because I'm always typing Pilcro and the letterpress in my titles. It's just Pilcro. Just use Pilcro. Um, Pilcro by Anthropology, And then they also have this one, Pilcro and the letterpress, which I think this one is like an older version. Um, I think, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure this is an older version. Um, but yeah, so this is what Pilcro labels look like. And then you have Daily Practice, which has like a hang tag in the tops. And then in like their leggings, they have this tag that is kind of built into the legging. And then you have Maeve, um, and Maeve has many different, I've seen many different styles of labels, but Maeve's been around for quite some time. Um, so I find a lot of Maeve quite often. Um, some pieces do, you know, okay, and then others just sit. So um, it just, it's kind of hit or miss. Now, when it comes to sub labels, um, you know, a lot of the sub labels that you are, you know, told about now are old sub labels. They don't carry them in anthropology anymore. These are old pieces and the resale value is pretty low on most of them. Um, there is obviously exceptions. There are rare pieces, um, but you just have to do a lot of research to kind of figure out what those pieces are. But anyway, so let's go on to the next page. And these are the top searched items in the last 30 days for anthropology. So this is me just typing in anthropology in the Google search uh, keyword planner. So dresses were searched 9.9 thousand times this last 30 days. Shoes at 1.6K, sweaters at 1.6K, jewelry at 1.3K, and then tops at 1K. So the other side, jeans, swim, skirts, and pants were searched under a thousand times per month, but most of them were around 880 searches per month. So much less. Um, it really opens my eyes to what I need to be sourcing when it comes to anthropology pieces. Dresses. That's what I see. I see that people want dresses, so I need to be looking at the dresses and that's it. Because honestly, I've had better success with dresses than I have with tops, pants, or anything. I don't know about you, but that's how it's been with me. I have a lot of tops and pants for anthropology currently in my Poshmark closet that are not moving, no engagement. It's just sitting there. Um, and it's probably because it's oversaturated stuff. So you have to keep in mind that anthropology has a sub label exclusive to them, BHLDN. And they make uh, evening gowns, wedding dresses, beautiful wedding dresses. And the majority of that 9.9 .9, is from that. I didn't really cover BHLDN in today's video because there was just was a lot of bridal stuff and it's extremely rare to find it, but definitely check wedding dresses. If you see BHLDN, um, even gowns, because it is prom time, just FY. I went to my seamstress the other day and she had girls in there getting changed into their dresses and it was just dresses everywhere. So they're still doing prom, so that's a plus. All right, so we are gonna look at the top sub labels searched in the last 30 days for anthropology. So the number one searched uh, was BHLDN. Um, a lot of people are getting married. A lot of people are looking for bridesmaid dresses, uh, mother of the bride dresses, uh, you know, prom, all of those things. So they've had a lot of searches in the last 30 days. Next to that is Saludos, which Saludos is like a shoe brand. They make a lot of different types of shoes. Obviously, Anthropology only carries certain pieces by Saludos, um, which you'd need to go check out their, uh, you know, their website to see some of the pieces they sell for Saludos. But that is a very popular brand right now that is being searched. Um, then after that, we have Super Superga Superga. <laughs> I want to say Super Vega still. But Superga is like a sneaker company and they have a special shoe that has been done by Love Shack Factory. Is that how you say it? I think it's like a floral print and people are wanting that and they're selling that piece at Anthropology. So if you run across that floral print sneaker Superga shoe, you definitely want to pick that up. Um, so then after that, we have Farm Rio being searched the most with Maeve at the same amount of searches per month. And then it just keeps, it starts going down. So then you have High High, which is 18.1 thousand searches in the last 30 days. And then from there, it just drops drastically down into the single digits. Um, you've got 1.3 thousand searches for Field Flower, 
3.6 thousand for Meadow Rue, 1.3 thousand for Pilcrow Jeans, and then 1.9 thousand for Byron Lars. And these were the only brands that were searched over 1,000 times in the last 30 days. So over here we have the sub labels that were searched for anthropology in the last 30 days that were under 1,000 searches. You have Rana Gill, Banuni by Giotti, Holding Horses, Leif Stoder, Cart Cartonier, Odile, Pilcrow, Isabella Sinclair, and Sleeping on Snow. Um, obviously, when you find these sub labels, you definitely want to comp these things because most of the older labels are oversaturated and they do not sell for anything. You will sit on them for a very long time, and I will show you, like I said, my closet. So you can see. I have a lot of things in there that have sat. It could be price, more than likely it's price, but I'm just standing by my prices. <laughs> All right, top search dresses for anthropology. The top two search were white dress and maxi dress. Now for white dress, it had uh, sub searches or sub you know keywords underneath it. Um, those were lace, eyelet, black and white, and maxi. So those were the top searches for white dress. Um, and then maxi dress, the top searches for that were Banuni by Giotti, which is a brand. So people were looking for maxi dresses by that brand. And then Rana Gill, people, that's another brand. People were looking for, you know, maxi dresses by that brand. And then floral maxi dress and then Maeve maxi dress were the next. So below that we have velvet dress with the next keyword being holding horses and green. And then midi dress, which was the Hermia midi dress. I'll show up here. The next one down was slip dress and the bias slip dress was what people are looking for. Sweater dress, black dress with the keywords of lace, embroidered or floral, and then cocktail dress. So those were the top dresses searched in the last 30 days for anthropology. Now the top brand search for dresses was Maeve. Um, a lot of Maeve was looked up. All right, so we are gonna move on to the next, which is the Maeve dresses. So basically what people were typing in were Maeve polka dot dress, Maeve green dress, Maeve tunic dress, etc. So they were looking for polka dot, green, tunic, floral, bird print, embroidered, striped, shirt, shirt dress, maxi dress, wrap dress, blue dress, and yellow dress. Those were the top searches for Maeve, um, for Maeve dresses. All right, so the next searched brand was Byron Lars, and the top dress that was searched for him was the Charisma Sheath Dress, and I'll have that up here on the screen. And then Byron Lars has a sub-label, and it's Begill or Beguile, I don't know how to say that, by Byron Lars, and a lot of beautiful pieces. So that was a top sub-label for Byron Lars, who is a sub-label of Anthropology. It's like a big sub-label thing. Anyway, okay, so the next was the Farm Rio top search dress, and that was the Clara dress. I've never seen Farm Rio in real life. I'm just saying. I don't know if I ever will. I don't even know if people around here even know what that is, but they have some beautiful stuff. All right, the next was top shoe searches for the last 30 days. The, the number one search was slippers, house slippers. That's crazy, but I guess it makes sense. Um, the next was sandals with Birkenstock being the top search, the Arizona, and then Tevas. And I'm assuming that Anthropology sells these in their store because that's that it was found under the Anthropology search. So, so sneakers were next with Superga being the um, top keyword for sneakers and then Love Shack Factory Floral as the next keyword for the Superga. And then boots were Ankle, Rain, and then Miss Albright, which I was not familiar with what Miss Albright was. I will post a picture right here. This was just a, just a Miss Albright boot. Um, and then flats, and there was no keywords for that. All right. The top shoe brands searched were Miss Albright, Saludos, and the items for Saludos that were searched the most were the Rainbow Wave and the Ibiza Sneaker. Then we have Leif Stoder, I didn't know they made shoes, uh, and Superga, and then KMB shoes. The top sweater searches for anthropology in the last 30 days were Moth, a cardigan, and then those keywords for cardigan were lobster, and then Hige, 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 I don't know how to say it, I butchered it, I know. 
Um, I will post pictures of those up here. And then field flower and sleeping on snow. So obviously moth, field flower, and sleeping on snow are sub labels for anthropology. So people are looking up those sweaters, you know, not anything in particular, but just sweaters by those brands. As for the cardigan, they were actually looking for a lobster cardigan and a, that, that word cardigan. <laughs> All right, so let's move on. Uh, the next was top sweater brand search. So the top sweater brands that were searched for anthropology were moth, being number one, Field Flower, Sleeping on Snow, Guinevere, John and Jen, HWR, Angel of the North, Aldo Martins, and Knitted and Knotted being last. All right, so next is top shirts searched. So the top searches were keywords people typed in, and the top one was tiger, then velvet, dog, white, denim, button down, pineapple, and plaid. Those were the top searches for the word shirt in anthropology. So basically I typed in anthropology shirts and these are the keywords that popped up underneath those. All right, so the next was top shirt brand search. So the top shirt brands were Isabella Sinclair, the button down shirt by them, didn't say particular style name or anything like that. And then Maeve shirts and Meadow Rue shirts. So those were the top brands and this is using the keyword shirt instead of top or blouse. This is the keyword shirt. All right, so top search the most were embroidered tops by the brands Tiny and Vanessa Virginia. The next search was sequin, peplum, crop, velvet, lace, white, wrap, peasant, and Bordeaux. So embroidered shirts by these two brands are, you know, being searched for the most. And then sequin and peplum are next. So keep your eye out for those styles, definitely. All right, the most searched brands for tops were Meadow Rue, Maeve, with the top two keywords being floral and tank, and then Deletta, Akimi Ken, Vanessa Virginia, Tiny, and HD in Paris. So the next was top blouse search, and people searched for white blouse, peasant blouse, Vanite Ball, which I believe is a brand, Maeve Floral, and then Meadow Rue. So those were the top terms searched for anthropology blouses. Then we move on to the next. The top t-shirts searched were graphic tees, the chow t-shirt, the dog shirt, I'm not sure what that is, um, and then mercy t-shirt. Those were the top searches for t-shirts. The top pants searched were joggers and the top keywords for joggers were velvet and sequin. So keep your eye out for velvet or sequin joggers. Um, wide leg was the next searched keyword with jeans being that next keyword for wide leg. So wide leg jeans. And then corduroy was the next searched item um, with pilcro, with pilcro being the next uh, keyword search for corduroy pants. They want corduroy pants by pilcro. Top brands that were searched for pants were Cartonier with the Charlie ankle and the Charlie trouser and then high high with cargo or linen pants. I hope I say hi, hi, right? I think it might be he, he, I don't know. <laughs> um, anyway, top jeans search were Pilcro. Obviously that is like the main uh, brand that is sold at Anthropology for denim. Um, so the style names that people typed in the most, number one was Script. Number two was Stet. Number three was the Slim Boyfriend, then Boyfriend, then the High Rise Bootcut, Wide Leg, High Rise Skinny, Embroidered, Flare, Parallel, and Serif. Um, for that last one, I'm pretty sure I have a pair of those in my closet that have, I've had them forever. I don't think they're going anywhere. I think they're going to be there forever. <laughs> um, all right. So the top search skirts were Tall, Maxi, Midi. So Midi had some sub keywords that were Maeve sequin skirt. So they're looking for a uh, Maeve sequin midi skirt. Um, the top skirt brand search for anthropology was Odile and Maeve. Um, I actually just sold an Odile skirt for $9, just to FYI. It was a rainbow like chevron looking skirt. It was old, um, but yeah, $9. I had it for a very long time. I don't pick up Odile anymore. <laughs> All right, top shorts searched. Pilcro denim and jean was the next keyword. Cartonier. Wanderer, 
and Eleven Seas. So that's a brand. Uh, Wanderer is a style, and then Cartonier is a brand. And yeah, so that is, and FYI, the shorts were not even in the top search, so people really weren't looking for shorts, but I'm just sharing all of this with you just so you know. Most of these that I've gone over, um, the top searches, just let me just tell you real quick what the top search was. Dresses, shoes, tops, jewelry, and sweaters were like searched more than a thousand times a month. All of these extra things I'm sharing with you were under a thousand searches per month. All right. The next is top jackets and coats searched. We have the quilted kimono jacket. That is the number one search and it had a lot of searches. Number one search right there. Um, leather jacket or fake leather jacket. A cartonier or cartonier blazer or cartonier velvet blazer. And then we have field flower, the plaid sweater coat. Next is top swim searched. And Alley Hop was the only sublabel brand that popped up in one piece bathing suits. I didn't even see bikini anywhere at all in the search at all. So one piece Alley Hop swimsuits are what people are looking for when it comes to anthropology. And yeah, next is top bag searched. And we have purses was the number one keyword people use for bags. Purses, lots and lots of searches for purses. I always put bags and people really don't type bags. I, I try really hard to remember to put purse, um, but I still put bag as well, so. All right, so Miss Albright was a sub keyword as well as street level. I didn't even know, now street level is a sub label. I did not know that street level was sold at Anthropology. I'm, I'm, I was a little confused because I've seen it and I always thought it was like cheap, like very cheaply made and it may be, um, but I've never picked it up, but I've seen it tons of times. Um, the next search was handbags, tote bags, and then crossbody. And that is it. That is all of the data that I was able to gather for anthropology. Um, and I definitely want to go to my Poshmark closet to show you guys some things. So, all right, so we are here in my closet. We're going to look at some anthropology pieces that I have currently listed. I have a lot and I've sold a lot and we're going to look at that. All right, so I've had a lot of these for a while. Some of these are new, like this is recent, re semi-recent. This is recent, um, somewhat recent, somewhat recent. The majority of these are not new. The majority of these I've had for some time. I obviously jacked my price up high at first and then I drop it. Um, but, you know, this was the most recent piece that sold and it, um, I had relisted it and she wasn't happy with it. She said that the zipper was lopsided or something. I mean, she still purchased it. She didn't open a case, but I didn't even know that. So check your zippers. Um, but yeah, so these are all pieces, um, that are in my closet right now that are not moving and it's unfortunate. Um, but you know, I just... I picked that stuff up for whatever reason. Um, but when you want to look at the solds, you know, when you look at the prices that I'm selling these things at, so you have Odile sold for $9, Meadow Rue Top sold for nine bucks, um, Anthropology Jogger Pants sold for 17 terrible picture, that's probably why, uh, Moth Sweater Vest 18 this Aryan Alley 12 um, this one right here, the anthropology, this was my highest selling piece of anthropology I've ever found. And I only made 45 off of it. I probably could have got more, but I'm pretty sure all the dresses similar to it. That's how much they were priced at. So I had to price with the market. Um, so yeah, I've sold a lot of pieces by anthropology, but a lot of these pieces just, they just don't have a good resale value because they are so oversaturated or so outdated, not trendy that type of stuff. So yeah, these are, these are those. Um, yeah, a lot, a lot. I have focused a lot of my time on picking up anthropology pieces as a reseller. Um, and so, you know, some pieces have done okay, but for the most part, not really. <laughs> but anyways, we are going to move on. We're going to go look at anthropology on here. So I've said many times that these bubbles right here are very closely aligned with Google search volume, what people are actually searching for. So maxi dress, top, skirt, swim, kimono, jumpsuit, all of that, 
this might be what people are typing into the search bar here on Poshmark. I don't know. They have not clarified. They refuse to clarify for me. They just give me a whole get up about how to list an item on Poshmark, which is not what I'm asking. So I'll keep trying to find out what these are for, if it's just random. Um, but it seems to be very, very similar to the search volume keywords that I'm finding. So what I like to do is just click one of the bubbles, um, whichever it is. I say maxi dress. The next is long sleeve, which is a popular keyword. Floral is the next one. And then so it's going to show me all of the long sleeve floral maxi dresses for anthropology. I always look at just in. So these are items that were just listed that sold pretty quickly most of the time. Um, so we are going to go over here. And then we're going to go down here to sold. So what I want you to do is just kind of take a look at the um, dresses. You can see a trend of the types of dresses people are buying right now. This is what people are looking for. They're like a very boho looking type of dress. They have tiering in the dresses. They're flowy. A lot of their sleeves are like three quarter sleeves or longer sleeves and they're floral. They're just beautiful dresses. I would pick these up even without the brand being Anthropology, which I actually did the other day. I picked up an exhilaration dress, which I'm pretty sure was like Walmart, Walmart, Kmart or Target was one of those. And I kept it for myself. A lot of dresses like this and all different brands. That's, I mean, it's the style people want this style. Um, and obviously Anthropology is a little bit pricier, but yeah, definitely keep your eye out for this type of maxi dress. Um, by anthropology brands. All right guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If you did learn something new, be sure to leave a like before you head out. And as always, please leave a brand that you would like me to research as well as your Poshmark closet name in a comment below. And next Wednesday, whenever I choose a winner, I will be announcing your closet name and showing it to people on Friday. And yeah, we will be researching the brand that's chosen. So I will talk to you all in my next video. Have a great day. Take care and stay safe. Bye.